let's launch ZBrush and start modeling. Okay, I'm going to double click on this exe file. You'll be presented first with the introductory splash screen and you can close this. Now ZBrush is a fairly complex software, however for the purpose of your ideation component of the idea module, you will only need to know a couple of commands and it will be sufficient enough for you to start modeling an object. If you look at the, the interface, <laughs> it looks fairly complicated, but again don't worry, I'll, I'll show you a couple of commands that you can start to play with. Now when you when your mouse hovers across the top menu bar, you notice that it drops down automatically by itself, so which means that you do not need to click on it. Okay. First thing we want to do is to start a new document. So you go to document, new document. Okay, and it would have reset everything to the default setting. Yeah. Okay, we will start off with creating something called a Z sphere. Okay. And this Z sphere is a tool that can be found in this current tool area. If you click on this, you get a drop down box with uh, lots of little objects that you can create on your canvas. Okay, So take this as a drawing canvas and these are tools that you can then apply and create objects on the canvas. So I'm going to tool and I'm going to click on this red ball okay, which is called a z-sphere. Now I've already activated the z-sphere so all you need to do is left click onto your canvas and drag out a red ball and then you let go okay immediately after that make sure you click on the edit command which is this button here okay and you can start to do things to the object okay now let me restart again no so click on the ball left click drag out let go if you don't click edit you will start to create more Z spheres, which is not what we want. Okay, we want to create an object based from one Z sphere. Okay, so new document. So two, click drag. Okay, and always remember edit. Now to create different, sorry, to create an extension of the object, click drag on the surface of the Z sphere. Okay. And as you click and drag, you'll be increasing the size of the various joints that are being created now on your object. Okay? Now, how do you then rotate this object so that you can draw on the other side? Okay, what if you've already created lots and lots of little things here and you want to go to the other side? So, anytime you click and drag within the object, you'll be creating new joints. Okay? If you click outside the object, and drag, you'll be spinning around your object. Okay? And then you can keep adding. Add, add, add. Click outside to spin. Click drag, click drag, click drag, click drag. Okay? Click drag, click drag, click drag, click drag. Okay? Give it a try first and we'll continue on to the next part of this exercise.